Bomb Village Chipper might just be my new favorite Bloom Chipper late game strategy in BTD battles. With version 6.19 buffing the Bomb and version 6.20 buffing the Chipper and the Village, this is one of the best late game Bloom Chipper strategy in the entire game. So today, I played in ZMG Superdome boost only using this illegal strategy and had an intense late game. So let's get right into it. Uh, so we have baseball hitter on YBR. So yeah, let's go bomb with a chipper man. Good luck. Uh, this strategy has a lot of potential. I played a, a lot of games after I made a video on this and it's actually solid bro. So how eco strats work is that most of the eco strats have a lot of gaps in them. So that could be something like a uh, potential dead to round. Uh, one second, let me place this right though. Oh, I should have placed it earlier, but oh well. So yeah, <laughs> a couple of gaps. Like every eco strat has a sort of gaps. And let's say it could be a round 13 all out rush. Or it could be round 20 BFP rush. And every eco strat has specific gaps. And you always need to exploit these gaps in order to... Uh, basically beat the strategy so any good player should be able to identify these gaps and just rush accordingly and just get the dub but with the case of bomb village chipper there's like no gaps with this because chipper with now being able to like suck in cmgs it actually counts as a extra stall which is what the strategy needed so i don't know but the strategy has a lot of potential but you still need to do a lot of testing before we declare it as meta or anything so we'll go for a chipper here on strong and we'll save for a cluster actually no he's not even sending so no cluster time so yeah okay he's going ng so how do we play against ng so you really just want to get as much eco as possible before they get a bloom trap because after they get a bloom trap you're basically gonna, gonna be feeding the trap which is the worst case scenario bro so that's going to be the priority of this game. It's just max eco until they get up a trap. And after that, you could do some eco condensing where you uh, send low tier blues so it doesn't feed the trap as much, which I'll explain more in depth later on when he goes for a blue trap. So for now, we're just going to be sending greens. And I think this is going to eventually overrun. Now, that, that is not a good energy spot for early on. What he really should have done is just go for his prockets on this NG. So watch how much he's, he's leaking so much here. So I think chances are he's just gonna um, all out me round 13 here. So I might just stop my eco a little bit earlier. But I do wanna set this though. Because this probably kills. <coughs> Actually no, never mind. He gets up under the 9 incher and that just defends I guess. Yeah, it defers. Alright, well done, bro. Set this on close. Actually, this cluster spot might have been better. But, oh well. So, he's setting yellows. This sh won't do anything. So, I might as well go back to equipping now. So, you could bloom boost here, but I'd rather just save a bloom boost for laying against bloom trap so it doesn't get. So, basically, I don't feed him as much money as I would if I weren't bloom boosting. So, he's about to die, by the way. Okay, that's all of his spikes. So if a single let's knocks through, he's just dead. And he went for his plantation, so the chances are he's just dead round 8. I mean round 10. So we'll set a couple lens here. There we go. We have a lot of eco by the way, so we'll afford a radar scanner easily on round 12. So there we go. Is he really defending all of these, bro? No way, right? Yeah, let's knock through. Look, he's going for a rotors. And that's what I'm saying, but this NG is not good early on. You just, just buy a sprockets. Watch, he's gonna all out me now. So how you defend all out is you go for a triple barrel. And two clusters, triple barrel on boost will defend any all out. If you can't afford two clusters, just sell your village for uh, a blue impact and defense. Because no one is gonna send camos anyways. Watch, let's let's see if you all out. So I'm gonna show you all how to defend. Uh, yeah, he's, he's too scared, bro. He's not gonna all out me. Uh, we will go for the triple barrel here. And uh, now what I was talking about is equal condensing. So you want to send low tier blues. So his sentries pop the blues and it doesn't be blue trap as much as it would if you were setting uh pinks here. And uh, oh he's leaking. What is that? Why did he just buy a heli? Oh well, let's buy the missile launcher here just to be safe. 
And yeah, we'll just eco with this. I'm really just saving up money till round 16, and all round 16 will be max eco because the AI is pretty strong. So that's how you're gonna eco against NG. I'm sure this still feeds his feeds him money, but it's just not as much, right? Uh, we'll send a couple moves now. So we'll start to increase the density right about now. I uh, will send big stuff. Okay, we force the boost actually. Let's go. He might be dead, but on my screen he's surviving. Just sold something. Okay, he's good. Alright. So we did struggle to AI there. Again, you need to go back to setting with greens because again you don't want to feed him money, bro. Really just don't want to feed him, <coughs> feed him money. Oops, sorry about that. So round 18 mobs. You will need a baller on strong for the more player. So I think I'm gonna just use this one. So this should be on close. We'll get the F duty suction so it looks in the ceramics and we'll eco with pings here once again with the AI. Really good time to eco. And he's trying to go for a factory. He might be dead. Bro just went for a Chenok. Hey, no way. Bro just, bro just collected a Chenok farm. We'll toss him a nice for that and he just went for his factory, bro. Again, I'm gonna rush him again with round 19 lens. 3, 2, 1, lens. There we go. Again, just setting white to uh, fill up the first two Gloom Trap layers and then we set banks. Watch. There was a 2.5 seconds delay there and he's probably dead here. So GG's. He's boosting, but that's not enough. Uh, GG's, bro. So that's how you play against NG. Every every single rush is uh, designed to kill because of layering. So GG's to baseball hitter. Uh, we'll move on with our next opponent now. Uh, so we have Ice King 37. Actually, no, it's not Ice. It's Icy. I don't know how it's pronounced, bro. And looks like a decent player. He has a clean profile, though. I ain't gonna lie. Baron Sands, do I wanna play this map? I think I wanna go late game, so I must skip this, bro. Let's see if we get a lock map. I do want to record some late game with this uh, strategy. So we have Riverside. This is actually not the not the worst map for the start, but again, you kind of need to go water towers on this map if you want to win. But we'll try to pull this off. The cluster spot is decent. This is this spot, right? Actually, no, this is better. Actually, I don't know, but I'm so indecisive. Let's just go for this spot. And again, you want to spike it. So they don't get a banana round one. But she's gonna place a farm and he won't get a banana. Whereas if you don't use a spike, he will get a banana. So that's something you would want to do every single time. And he's going boat. Okay. So it could be boat farm boater or boat farm ace. I don't think this guy is good enough to go boat farm ace. Like no offense. It's just safe to assume it's boat farm boater. So. Hey, I don't think I've seen anyone play boat ace, despite me making several videos on it. It's, it's actually kind of crazy. People need to go boat for me more often on this map. So yeah, we'll just see going. We go for the pack bombs just so I don't leak for no reason to dash balloons. And if he sends banks, yeah, he is gonna send banks. Okay, we'll go for a chipper on strong. And this should take care of the faster layers for us now if it does pop a queue i'm just gonna buy a cluster but let's force it to send though because this delays this plantation by so much and the routes are not at natural as well so <laughs> not buying the cluster is actually the play here we haven't we haven't even leaked that much at all like 80 lives 20 lives that's like barely anything and he stopped setting. So he, he did get a round 5 plantation. But the thing is the rounds are just stopped out. So it's is it even worth it? No. Probably not. It just depends what his third tower is. If it's both from motor, it's not worth. If it's both from ace, maybe it's worth. If it's both from super, it's 100 percent worth. Who is really reading though? Is he going super, bro? No way, right? No way this guy's a chat and goes both from super. It's just dice to lens, right? Amulets. I mean, unlike GZ slash Spectre, you will need a temple, which is this, which is not, 
got achieved, bro. Like, it's 100k. So, we got up the cluster bombs and we should be chilling to whatever he was setting there. And yeah, the, the nice thing about the strat is you can eco till round 10, bro. That's so broken. I don't think any other eco strat can max eco this hard. Which makes the strategy extremely good, bro. That's one of the reasons why the strategy is so strong. Because you can just get insane eco early on. And okay, we'll try and force the second uh, grape shot here. Yep, we do. Nice. I'm really just trying to time my eco with natural balloons so it doesn't add us all. So we'll set a couple more balloons with the round 9 AI. Just to try and extend it by a couple more seconds. So there we go. I'm going to set it now. And look, a couple of balloons are... Actually, no, no balloons stuck through, right? I think it's two grape shots as the best. Yeah, that was a, a semi all round. Nicely done. It's a lead though. Let's see what his third tower is. Go for this and... Now we can buy the missile launcher if needed. He's really green though. Holy, bro. Bro needs to chill. There's the motor. Easy reads. So look, I can already afford a radar scatter. So again, like the same defense as last time. A triple barrel on strong with two clusters will defend any sort of fallout. If you don't, if you can't afford two clusters, just make sure. Wait, what is he sending, bro? Uh, we'll boost this. And bro is all outing with camo. What was that, bro? Camo regro axe. You, you could sell anything, bro. This the, the thing gets past the setup. I can sell the uh, village for uh, impact like this, and I can sell this for a uh, radar scatter like this, like one more eco boost, and I can maybe double spike. And it just defends literally anything. Sending camo pings like as if the impact isn't good enough, and. <laughs> He's mad because bad. And we just take the top. GG's, bro. So that's how you defend all out, boys. Now, I just want to go late game. Like, I think I've demonstrated every single thing. How you want to play this with the strat. Now, I just want to showcase the late game potential, bro. So hopefully, we find someone who doesn't just randomly all out. All right. So we have Mattia Galisi. I've played this guy a couple of times before. In Ruins, perfect map for the strat, bro. Because you can't even farm on this map. This might actually be one of the meta starts on this map. I mean, Heli Ice and Heli Glue are up there, but they can't really farm, can they? It's like the same thing as Snowy Castle, except it's a two-way map, so you can't go Heli Ice. So we'll rock this. Good luck, buddy. I think it goes Bomb with the Chipper as well here, bro. Let's see. So we'll do the same start. Oh, he's actually going to anti start for me. That's so nice of him. Dosima, thumbs up for that. And cluster spot is probably here. Yeah, this is the cluster spot. Dude, do I really want to play Eco Vico? I might just DC. Oh, he's going Chipper Farm Ace or what? Chipper Farm is actually a good start on this map. And I think it's Eco though. Yeah, it's Eco. It's Eco. Alright. So Ace Eco versus Bomb Millet Chipper. It could be Sniper, to be fair. Yeah. Like Ninja Sniper Ace. Actually, a solid strat. So... Yeah, we're just both eco now. There's no way to tell if it's going Sniper or Eco, so... Not exactly... Um... Predict anything. Till I know his uh, other towers, that is. Setting pings, we should be fine to pings because the cluster spot is decent. Yeah, we're just fine. Um, it's this entire band. So good, bro. And we got a little bit of blast radius over here. Holy, this, this cluster spot is actually good, bro. This might be the best spot of this map, bro. So he's a, he has a 2 ace. I really just don't want to send space because it just kills my own eco. Literally not worth. We'll send space now, obviously, because I need to save for a uh, balloon chipper for black balloons. He only sends one set though, but I'm forced to get this up. Since mom cannot detect any single black. Oh, it is chipper. Okay, so is it chipper? It's not farm then, right? Because he's eco. 
the triple sniper ace then i mean it is a it is one of the strategies up there did i make a video on triple sniper ace oh god bro what, i made a video on triple and sniper but what was the third tower i think it was boat right oh god bro I, it was a it was a long time ago so this defense round eight by the way it's the same thing bro it defends at round 10 so you can max equal right now which is so good you stop the eco actually so is he saving one for a sniper there's no way you can fit a sniper here right let me, let me actually try this out so oh you actually can fit something here okay so he might be hiding a sniper over there you never know so you wouldn't rush him or anything since a sniper on strong will just shred through literally everything. We said lead though, let's see if he has sniper or not. But the way he defends this lead is gonna decide it's not tower. It is sniper, okay. Why did he not hide it here then? I don't know. Alright. So chipper sniper ace. It's actually a decent strat draw. For maps where you can't farm. Because so obviously you could just go chipper far base. Or maps you could forward and do we beat it late game though no. it's, it's actually close because you don't have a lot of space to go for bombs let's go for this though we'll buy this and you could just eco now right yeah i suppose we could just eco now because all we need is a Triple barrel on strong and the defense pretty much everything. Oh, am I over equal? You know, I might be. Let's let's just wait a little bit. Yeah, I think we can eco a little bit though. I think we need 800 in our pocket, right? So we can afford a triple barrel. I mean, sure, I could over eco because he can't tell how much money I have, right? But let's just play it safe and keep. In our, in our pocket here. Alright, ceramics. He just went for his thing, right? Yeah, okay. We can over a little bit now. Because he's going to be way too focused on his own side. We'll go for this now, though. Because round 16 AI. And do we need a missile launcher or no? I think we do. I'm going to go for it. But the shipper is kind of place in the spot where it just chases two air balloons but it, it will do really well against like said balloons though because i literally see them right away over here all right so we'll go uh, 1000 eco i think because all you need for boss is just a single modern on strong and models are extremely cheap by the way hold on let me show this so it's 360 plus 900 less like one more eco boost, right? Look, I can afford a baller now. It's so cheap, bro. And how much is the damage? Okay, it takes 10 times more damage on my plus balloons. And okay, there's the more. We'll triple spike. We'll go for this. Set this on strong and close. And this defense. Easy to find, boys. I'm at the eco, bro. I know the ceramics are gonna get shredded by balloon chipper, so not too, not too worried about this. Surely, right? Come on. Okay, we leak a little bit. That's fine. Don't care. Now, round 20 all outs could be troublesome. So I must stop here, actually. All you'll need is two or three maulers and a blue dip pack. And this is defense through everything because you can just cycle three boosts. So we're going to be doing that here. And. Yeah, you can just sell the chipper as well, because once you get an impact, it's kind of useless. He thinks I'm selling a BMB, bro. Well, there goes your two spikes, buddy. And uh, no BFP, okay. Well, I'm just going to save up for my monkey town here then. And if he sends a BFP, I can always just <coughs> sell the monkey town. So this is a very smart investment. Big brain, actually. So, okay, one more boost. I could sell the baller, but that's way too greedy. 
Okay, we'll go like this, and there we go. So you see how I... How do I explain this, bro? Okay, he's setting a BFP. I can't explain now, I need to defend this. You have three boosts, you don't need three boosts, so you just boost here. You don't even need to boost, actually. But I'm gonna do it because I really just wanna eco here. Okay, one more eco, so you sell one of these. Or this. Okay, come on, baller. Okay, wow. Wallace actually suck. It wasn't supposed to be like this, bro. It really wasn't. Be good, though. I really just don't want to wanna sell my monkey town. But wow, bro. The baller really let me down, bro. I don't. It, I think it was like 5% more damage needed, bro. I sold the second baller way too early. Oh, well, guess what? This defends everything. Till like around 27 now, so we can just max eco. Alright, so he has four, how much is that? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna assume he does not have a sniper hidden in the top right. Since he didn't go for his first sniper over there. So four sniper drops around 23, bro. I mean it's it's whatever, bro. It's nothing exceptional. And our eco is actually looking solid, bro. 2k eco, we are on base for 5k eco around 30. And that's all you need, bro. Look, but the blue impacts are so good now. Like, the send blues are not even moving past that point. It's actually OP. And he could set a ZMG. So, how do we defend a ZMG? I think we just use Omni Shredder, right? Omni Shredder for Maulers, maybe 5. If I'm being generous. And 3 impacts at the back will defend boostless. But the ideal way to defend is using a boost so you can uh, max eco. Is he dead to AI, bro? He's dead. Yeah, bro. He did an ODS. Oh, he heard me, bro. <laughs> bro, got up an ODS. Well done, well done, bro. I should be eco, bro. Why am I emoting, bro? I could do the eco glitch here. This is how you do the eco glitch. You just hold this and you just go like... Oh, this. There you go. Now you can play Star Wars while ecoing. It's extremely broken, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do it because... I think it's unfair. Unless my opponent does it. The only reason I learned how to do it is because if my opponent does it, it's just an instant loss for me, right? It's really not that difficult. Look, I just did it again first try. But I'm not going to abuse it. Since I think it's unfair. I mean, sure, if both the players are doing it, then there's, there's no problem about it. So, round 27 is here. We will need a super wide funnel. Or natural mob, so we'll go for that in a sec. Dude, 4k eco is so good. Go for this and we'll go back to eco now. And how many snipers is that, bro? Like, his farms are not that great, bro. I guess this is why sniper just doesn't work. It just isn't, it just doesn't cut it, bro. Compared to farms. I'm mean, sure it counts as defense, but sniper drop, sniper DPS is only gonna do so much against round 35, 36 RAM CMGs. So is it really DPS, bro? Probably not. So his strategy is basically just ninja sniper ace, except he has a war stall, like 50% uh stalling power reduction. Because Chopper is 25, I think. Yeah, it is 25. Whereas Ninja is 50%. I would say, I would argue that DPS is pretty much the same for Ninja and Chipper. So I don't think that's any... How would I say this, bro? It's gonna, like, make any change. Except, it's just Ninja Sniper Ace, except it has a war stall. So when do we all out Ninja Sniper Ace? It actually defends very late, bro. Like, I've seen people defend round 38, bro. So I'm really just gonna <laughs> project this to go past round 40. And yeah, my strategy can defend late as well, bro. And I'll show you all why in a sec. So one thing to... Is he dead, bro? I think he's good. Yeah, he's good. Alright. 
that looks scary. The one thing to note about uh, going chipper is that you always want to micro your super wax. Since it's how super wax works is that the timing gets messed up if you have four of them down. And you also need to worry about placement. So it's really just uh, really hard to explain. Bro. Like if you play chipper enough, you will understand that getting a four chippers for a power stall just doesn't work. Because it has a range limiting factor to it. So what's the play is you just micro it and you can have dynamic placement because you can just super back here, then here, then here, then here. And eventually you will defend everything. So that's the plan. And sure, I could do the eco glacier now and I have like a map full of P players defense. But is it really fair though? I, I don't think it's fair, bro. I don't want to do it. So what is the defense? I optimized the defense for this map, by the way. It's how many monkey? What was that, bro? Monkey energy beacon. Yeah, that's what it was. How many do we need? We need one here. Why is the placement so hard, bro? Like, Ninja Kiwi needs to make better maps. Oh, you can't even fit one here. Damn, that's crazy. All right. So we'll go for one here. How much is this range? Okay, it's still like right here. Hold up, I'm about to die. Super back that. Holy. Okay, we need ballers on the map because I'm about to die to Ash of Loons. Oh my god, hold up. Let me stop yapping, bro. So we are about to die, bro. We are literally about to die. Go for energy beacon here. There we go, there we go. Come on, pop the blues, pop the blues. Dude, I can't believe I almost died. What is our super white fiddle doing, bro? This thing's lacking. Oh, well, we're good. So, what was the defense? I can't keep up, bro. There's so much going on. So, the defense is just more or less on strong. So, you pop the ZMG layer and you go for um, assassins as well later on. By the way, they changed the way how targeting works here. Because, look, I'm, I placed the bomb down. And instead of, instead of instantly going for the uh, upgrade, it goes for the upgrade at the side. Which never, I have never seen that happen, by the way. So they, I think they changed how it works. I need to do some more testing about it, but that's it. It, it is changed, so I might just choke some upgrades here because I'm not used to this targeting. Okay, we really just need to clutch up, bro. So this, uh, we need to figure out what. I think this is an optimal spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll commit to this spot. And I think one, what is the spot? Probably here. Yeah, this is the setup. All right. Now you need to uh, fit bombs. Can you fit two uh, vertically here though is the question. Make sure we're recording. Yes, we are. All right. So you can't even fit two vertically. So I'm just going to go for zigzag placement. So there we go. And down you can fit four here, bro. Okay, not the best map for Bob. Because placement wise, there's not much space. But I really just want to see how like this depends. Like, I suppose the inner bends needs to be uh, of the shutters. On strong. I will put the energy beacons on first, I guess. Yes, you could micro energy beacons, by the way, look. And yeah, we just go for all these shredders. Now, there's a huge debate on, not really debate, it's just debate in my mind on how many Omni shredders is optimal for ZMG defense because each ZMG needs to get constantly occupied by a single uh, Omni shredder. So, that's an interesting debate. We'll go for continue buying defense though. Also buying left side here, it's actually worth. Okay, are we good bro? I can't even see my screen because there's so much going on. It's around 40 by the way. That's what's up. So we'll go for a few more. We have so much money bro. Jeez man. Make sure we have monkey fort on all these. We can't place bombs here. That's sick. Okay, I need to clutch up. I need to clutch up, bro. I'm kind of lacking, bro. I think we need more Omni Shredders. I think 20 is what we'll need. We'll try to do that. And I can't even see, bro. Why is there impacts, bro? You don't need impacts anymore. Round 40, bro. Jeez. Okay. We're almost done with our 
setup though. Just making sure everything is targeted on strong and has the left side. Okay, I see some clothes here. It's on first, buddy. Go on strong. I can fit one more here actually. You can actually squeeze in so much in between the villages because the hitbox is actually much smaller than it looks like. I can't fit any here though. 23 ballers, bro. That's not much. I'm scared now. I really want to all out this guy. But 23 ballers is not it, bro. It really isn't. I see an impact though. I'm, I'm setting that. And I'll be good, bro. It looks scary, but I can always just super whack. So we're really just fine. Watch a super whack and it's easy to defend. I might just all out this guy, bro. I really don't want to go too late. Make sure we super whack all that. Only I carry to decide my spot. So it's here and then here. These are the two super whack spots. We'll keep that space empty. There's a CMG. Let's see how he does against this. You know what? I'm, I'm all out him, bro. Round 43 is way too late, bro. It's way too late. So either he's dying to this or he's gonna counter and I die. And I think we can defend round 44. It's round 44, bro. Oh, it's, uh, it's all outing. Okay, we'll use abilities. Go, go. Super whack. Okay, we'll continue rushing. Blue boost is back in a sec. So, I gotta sell this. Okay. Our ballers are back. We'll boost here. Uh, where's the super whack? Super whack all that. And okay, we'll make sure to super whack here now. Okay, we'll micro this. Uh, what, what is going on? Our ballers are back though, so we'll use them. There we go. The re super whack. And it's hard to tell if I'm defending or not. I see the CMG's pushing. Okay, we need to boost. Well, I really need my models to be back here. We'll, use, we'll start super whacking here now, actually. Come on, enemy ability is super whack. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, they're back. Use them all. The ability wore off. One more CMG, right? No, there's multiple there. Is he defending, bro? No way, right? Oh, we died. Let's go. GG's. Okay, so I might defend it. Oh, my. I couldn't even see. I think we were about to defend, bro. Like, one more cycle of assassin abilities. And we would have been fine. GG's, though. I, I have no idea how he died. It looked like he was defending, but again, I only saw it for, like, two seconds, bro. Max. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, boys. Bomb Village Chipper. It's, it might be the, my new favorite strategy. And if it helped you, please consider not help you. Well, I'm so used to making professional videos. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. We're so close to hitting 2,000 subscribers. So really appreciate the support lately. And yeah, that's going to be it for this, today's video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.